Hey guys, welcome back to Day Day 2K GM Mode. Tonight, kicking off NXT, Edge addresses the standoff with The Fiend, stating that he has no idea what Bray Wyatt wants from him, but he's not going to pleasure Bray the slightest. That's when the intro to the Firefly Funhouse begins. Bray Wyatt greets Edge, questioning him. He wonders why he would run. Is that what his wife Beth Phoenix wants? Is that what his kids want? Edge snaps and tells Bray to leave his family out of it, stating that if a war is what he wants, he's got it at TakeOver Tokyo. Now for our first match of the evening, we start with another match from the Mixed Match Challenge. Tonight, we have the interbrand team of Liv Morgan from Raw and Randy Orton from NXT taking on, representing Raw, Team Half Moon, Ember Moon, and Darby Allen. Liv would be the first to strike in this contest, but Ember would catch her and hit a fall away slam. This would end up being a sign of how this match would proceed, with momentum swaying back and forth between both teams. Liv and Ember would receive the most time in this match, almost constantly mirroring each other in some form or fashion. Orton would hit a game-breaking fallaway slam, sending Darby through the ropes behind it. Wait, no. Launched him to a different side of the ring? Darby would recover from whatever just happened and would be able to hit Orton with a stunner. Darby would not be able to put Orton away, and this would lead to Liv and Ember once again becoming the legal competitors. Liv would be able to catch Ember Moon off guard with a kick during a kip up, and this would stun Ember long enough for Liv to be able to hit the 201 Facebreaker. Darby would attempt to break up the pin, but he would end up getting tackled by Orton while the referee counted the three. Orton would even lay in some unnecessary strikes after the match was over, and with that victory, despite the unsportsmanlike conduct of Randy Orton, Liv Morgan and Randy Orton will be moving on to the next round of the Mixed Match Challenge. Are you perhaps looking at the winners of the tournament? Up next we have a very brief matchup as the glorious Robert Roode is set to take on Big E Langston in one-on-one -on -one action. The match would begin with Roode hitting a variety of absolutely glorious suplexes allowing him to set the tone for the matchup. The powerhouse, Big E, would not be easily defeated, using his strength advantage over Rude to get back into the match. In the end, a rare trip to the top rope from Big E, ending in him crashing and burning, would lead to the end of the match, with Rude being able to hit a glorious DDT for the three soon after.
the Glorious One has picked up a victory here on NXT, adding Biggie Langston to the list of people he's defeated, including the likes of Goldberg. Big E has nothing to be ashamed of here tonight. But with that said, we now have to wonder where Rude has his sights set next. Up next, Ted DiBiase appears one final time in a brief video, addressing that the price is right now, and his monster is coming next week. With the threat of a monster looming over NXT, perhaps one that could rival even the monster among men, we head back down to the ring for one-on-one -on -one action as the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, is set to take on Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. The opening sequence of this matchup would allow both men to show off their styles, with Dunn showing off his technical prowess and brutal style, while Breeze would show off more of his disrespectful nature. Dunn's strategy would appear to involve targeting the arm, perhaps seeking to remove the unprettier from Breeze's arsenal. But Breeze's strategy would be more sneaky and underhanded. Breeze would leave Dunn stunned with a sudden enziguri before then stalking the Bruiserweight, waiting for him to rise up before Breeze would attempt to hit the beauty shot. Dunn would be able to duck out of the way though before then hitting an Xplex on Prince Pretty. This would quickly lead to Dunn hitting the bitter end on Tyler Breeze and would result in the end of the match. With a hard fought victory, Pete Dunne has managed to gain further momentum here on NXT as the season progresses. Are we looking at a future North American champion, or perhaps an NXT champion? Up next, Beth Phoenix, accompanied by Natalia, is set to take on Maria Kanellis and her shiny pants in one-on-one -on -one action. In this brief contest, Maria Kanellis would shock Beth right out of the gate with unexpectedly fast and interesting offense. But inevitably, Beth Phoenix's indomitable strength would catch up with Maria and this would lead to the only reasonable conclusion. A glam slam, accompanied by a one, two, three. And with that, Beth Phoenix has picked up the victory over Maria Kanellis, but after the match, the lights go out. And as the lights turn red, Maria has disappeared, as has Natalia, leaving Beth Phoenix alone. As Beth leaves the ring, trying to escape, she is tripped by the hands of the fiend from underneath the ring. She is then dragged underneath the ring. Immediately after what could only be described as a kidnapping on live TV, DJ Steidel heads down to the ring with the Empire in full. He states that tonight he puts himself up against Shawn Michaels, 
and he states that this war against DX is going to rage on until all members bow to him. Triple H did it at WrestleMania despite resisting, and X-Pac did it when he was beaten into submission at SummerSlam. DX will fall. And after that decree from Steidl, we now move on to our next addition to the Face the Facts Challenge. Tonight, Kurt Hawkins will be facing the Latino he himself, Eddie Guerrero. Hawkins would attempt to do what Maria did in the previous match, attempting to catch Eddie off guard immediately, but he would ultimately fail. Hawkins would be able to get his fair share of offense in against Eddie, but that would come to an abrupt end at the hands, or rather feet, of an incredible dropkick that just breaks Hawkins' neck. After dealing out some extra punishment to Hawkins, Eddie would hit a frog splash from the top and cover his opponent. But, shockingly, Hawkins would kick out. Eddie would go back up to the top once again, looking to put an end to the match with a twisting senton, and this would end up connecting and doing exactly what Eddie hoped it would. And with that victory, Eddie Guerrero has successfully defeated Kurt Hawkins and has given NXT another fact putting them way ahead of Raw, with 13 facts opposed to Raw's 6. Now with that said, will we perhaps see Eddie lying, cheating, and stealing his way to a match against either Dominic Dijakovic or Walter in the future? Up next in our first featured matchup, Lacey Evans is set to take on the NXT Women's Champion, Tegan Knox. Will Tegan be able to get her revenge against Lacey after the cheap women's right? Lacey Evans has taken it upon herself to rid WWE of the quote, nasties of the women's division. Hey, Corey, I heard you had a late night here in Cleveland yesterday. Yeah, I went out in the theater district with Mung Ai last night. Let me just tell you, that guy makes Johnny football look like Mother Teresa. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Look at this. Oh, what a splash! She's got the shoulders down. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. Wow, look at the quickness by Lacey Evans. Drop for added measure. Snap suplex, very effective. Now oh, trampling the opposition. She ducks out of the way there. Guess that's one way to incite your opponent. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Oh, impressive counter. Swept off her feet here. And a knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. And Lacey Evans making her think twice. Oh, nasty impact. She's enduring some damage. She can withstand the punishment, though. Oh, man. She scores big with the counter. Nothing fancy about that. Oh, 
Russian leg sweep. Reverses, can she take advantage? Oh. Nice takedown. Legs are locked. She somehow breaks free, but you have to wonder how much damage was done. I don't have you walking funny. Nah, I like this. Nothing wrong with enjoying your work. Elusive movement there. Look at that power, Byron. Man, that is just careless intent. This could do it. Easily gets the shoulder up. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Whoa. Suicide down. She's got to be out of it now. I don't think Lacey Evans has a clue where she is. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Four. Wow, look at the quickness by Lacey Five. Evans. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Ow. Face first with a waist lock takedown. She's showing signs of slowing Two. now. She's not rising to the occasion right now. Bringing it back into the ring. Down to the floor. Anticipated that attack perfectly. We're and Lacey Evans making her think twice. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Just a barrage of stops for the victory here. Two, I thought that was it. I gotta tell you, I thought she was done there. We're about to see it. And that might be just enough to win. My goodness, that connected. Shoulders on the mat. Two, three. I don't believe it. This one is over. And with that victory, Tegan Knox has successfully defeated Lacey Evans. Now with China certainly looking for a rematch for the NXT Women's title, will Tegan Knox's reign be able to survive? Up next, DJ Steidl, accompanied by Tristan Nunez and Braun Strowman, takes on Shawn Michaels, who is accompanied by Triple H and X-Pac. Will Steidl be able to make DX fall, or will Michaels be able to overcome the leader of the Empire? Shawn Michaels' presence in this match instantly elevates it to main event status. The Hall of Famer, the multi-time champ, the legendary HBK is a walking showstopper. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe we have some of Cleveland star athletes in attendance tonight. Oh, man. Oh, right to the back. Oh, what a forearm. Big time neck breaker. <laughs> oh, that'll make your legs numb. Just 
caught flush. He has become relentless at this point. He is getting fired up here. We all know that's just a sample of what he can do. Ooh, well measured. Brutal knee right to the face. There's the reversal. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. And the raw motion is just pouring out of Shawn Michaels. He's fading, guys. That corner is the only thing keeping him upright. Wait a minute. What are they going to do from up here? Oh, my God. This oh. is going to be... Oh. Side slam. He's got him covered. Plenty of fight left. Still seems a little early. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, well-measured strike. Set him up for the leg sweep. Nicely done. What's he got in mind? Oh, driver. Now he's been put on the defensive. He planned for this and could still rally. Delivering the suplex. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are being entertained tonight. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Lightning fast reflexes. Boom! Put me right to the face. Tell me what Shawn Michaels can do here to improve his chances. He's getting beat up out there, but staying strong. Straight punch. Oh, right to the throat. And a quick pin attempt by Shawn Michaels. An easy kick out there. Hey. I guess you never know. Suplex! Bang! Drop kick! Great athleticism. Elbow drop. Piercing. Breaker. He's starting to struggle here. He's lost much of his early confidence. Bionic elbow right to the forehead. Shawn Michaels is keeping a very good tempo now, guys. The showstopper wants to put an end to the show right here. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spot. Will he be victorious? Kick out. Not yet. This could be dangerous. DDT! Beauty shot! There's the reversal. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. What's he going to do with it? What an exploder! Ah, jumping stop to the gut. Shawn Michaels is looking very beat up right now. He can't recover from a beating like this. I would still be careful because Sweet Chin Music can strike at any moment. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Harsh 
impact. And it's Michael showing some agility. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Oh, drop. gets the win and one tastes of sweet chin music later Shawn Michaels has defeated the leader of the Empire and holder of the golden ticket DJ Steidel with another defeat being handed to the Empire what will they do to recover and what's next for the members of DX and in our main event of the evening NXT North American Champion Dominic Dijakovic takes on the Murder Hawk Monster, Lance Archer, accompanied by Jake the Snake Roberts. Will Dominic Dijakovic be able to survive the Murder Hawk Monster? Or will we feast our eyes on a fresh defeat for the North American Champion? The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe we have some of Cleveland star athletes in attendance tonight. Oh, oh right. my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Scoop slam! Slam down hard. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh, no. How is this not over yet? What the? Well, now it is. He's hoping that it quickly. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. Still a lot more fight left. How impressive was that reversal? Big forearm smash. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. He's looking relentless. Really just laying it in. Amazing reflexes on display. Boom, what impact! Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Look out! He's on his heels a bit now. He's not looking great, but never count him out. And we continue. Brought in the hard way. And there's the Yurinagi. Shoulders down, this could be it. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. He's not giving up that easy. Not looking good, guys. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. He got out of the way. Oh, heavy duty right hand. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Scooped up. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Boom. <laughs> Back in from the floor. Four. No. <laughs> Ooh, what impact. Never 
shoulder lock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh. That's going to break an arm. Oh, man. That's right. He's lost some of his win now. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Oh, big boot. Shoulders down. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. It's going to take more than that. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. Good throw. Oof. You know, we can stay here, guys. Starts his 10 count. And with that victory, NXT comes to a close with Lance Archer standing tall over the North American champion and hopeful double champion, Dominic Dijakovic. This significantly boosts Archer up in the rankings and perhaps even sets him up for a future title opportunity. Or maybe even title opportunities. Feel like I just saw hit that like button. If you are new here and you want to see more Day Day 2K GM mode or just more content from me in general, hit that subscribe button. I'm not sure when week 19 will be coming out, so like I said, hit that subscribe button so you know. If you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, you want to follow my Twitch account or join my subreddit, links are all in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.